Hi, welcome to the Bachman Workbench. Today I'm here to introduce one of our newest products in DCC. This is the DCC Turnout Controller. It can be used for multiple scales and what it does basically is if you have an existing layout with analog or DC or AC powered turnouts, this will basically upgrade the turnout to a DCC controlled turnout. It's especially easy with the Bachman Easy Track system because all the components are included and it just basically plugs in and you have to just program the switch after that. So I'm going to show you a, a makeshift layout here with a couple of analog turnouts hooked up to the analog controls. I'm going to show you how easy it is to upgrade to the new system using this control box. About a year and a half ago, we introduced the HO version of the trackside decoder. This is electrically identical to the switch box but this was specifically for HO modelers only. It came with a, a structure that was HO scaled. Um, since then, we've gone to and put the electronics in a control box. So this allows the N scale modelers to enjoy the convenience of DCC as well. So now I'm going to unbox this and show you how everything hooks up. What we have here is basically a simple demonstration board of the three different types of turnouts that we make in analog for Easy track. In HO, we have the nickel silver version with the gray road bed, the black road bed with the steel alloy tracks, and then we also have the N scale version of the nickel silver track. Typically, this would be the way it would be hooked up. Your wires would go under your layout to your control panel, and these are the control buttons that come with your analog turnouts. So they basically just work by switching them back and forth. And you have to do that for each one. To upgrade this, we basically have the control box, which is exactly the same mold as that control box. And you just need to unplug it and plug it in. So we have three DCC control boxes because we have three turnouts to control here. And they basically hook up the same way as the analog. So they have the ability to daisy chain together so that you only need to hook up one power supply for all of them. So first of all, we'll plug them together. So we have three here, just like we have three here. Now this is the analog power. Well, right here we have DCC power. So we're gonna plug that in. And we don't have the power connected yet, but we will do that in a second. And it plugs in like that. And what we have on our analog setup right now is the three, the green wires each go to the turnouts and they control the turnout um, solenoids. So we're gonna transfer those over. This one is the N scale turnout. This one is the steel alloy black. And finally, this is the nickel silver turnout. One thing I didn't point out when I was unboxing is that the control, the wire that comes with the control box plugs into any of our power re-railers on one end and then it plugs into the control box on the other end. That's the way you can grab power anywhere from your layout. Um, and the one thing unique about our power re-railers is they have connections on both sides. So that if you already have a power input, you can use this as a power tap off. So that's really convenient. But if you don't use Easy Track, you can just simply clip off one of the black connectors and connect to your track power. So we have power to all the um, turnouts now and hooked up to our easy command system. Right now we're gonna show you that we're connected to the end scale turnout by simply pressing the button and it shows there the power is connected. So with easy command, we have address number nine reserved for turnout control. And then the function button controls the switch number so you can do one through ten for the switch numbers in function mode so first thing you do is we go into address nine on the easy command system nine will light up and then you press the function button by default these are programmed as function three so if i press and you see all of them are clicking in unison now i'm going to put the end scale decoder box into programming mode. To do that, you press and hold the button for two seconds, and once the switch decoder responds, it will throw the switch back and forth. One 1,000, two 1,000. 
We're in programming mode now. Now it will accept any number one through 10. You press the function button that you want to program to four times. So I'm going to switch that to number four. One, two, three, four. So now that one is controlled by number four. And you see if I press number three, the other two switches are controlled by number three. So I have to repeat this process of programming for each one of the turnouts. So again, this will be the black steel alloy turnout. I'm going into programming mode. One, 1,000, two, 1,000. I want to make this number five. So I'm going to press the five four times. One, two, three, four. And that double switch back and forth is confirmation that it has taken the programming correctly. So now I have this one on four, this one on five, and this one on three. It's that simple. Just to round things out, and a quick reminder is that what's very exciting about this announcement is that this control box will convert your N-scale turnouts, all of our N-scale turnouts, into DCC control turnouts. So now N-scalers can control their locomotives and their turnouts on their layout from one control box. Thanks for watching and see you next time.